innovation. I mean, I, I always like to separate invention from innovation. You know, so invention sets a base of technology and know-how, and then innovation takes that and builds on top of it. Right? And as you look at any uh, technology area, the, those that become ever more mature, the amount of innovation that takes place goes up exponentially. Now, invention doesn't occur nearly as quickly, uh, but innovation is built on top of what's been created before. So you get this upward funneling effect. And in fact, you know, in, in the topic that we're talking about here today, you know, the, the kinds of technologies, the things that you can do, the different use cases, uh, those things are a direct result of the amount of innovation that's been funneling up from a lot of core invention, right? Those inventions would be characterized around, you know, data structuring technologies, whether it's, you know, relational, non-relational technologies, things that help you organize, structure, bring data together. How do I surface ontologies? So a lot of tough technical issues that have to be dealt with at the invention level. Uh, and we're certainly not going to stop working on those things. But I think the greater excitement is going to be realized through innovation, you know, new capabilities, things that, that you see manifesting themselves, you know, either in business or some aspect of your personal life, uh, changes taking place on the World Wide Web, you know, all a function of the innovation that wells up uh, from the enormous amount of invention that's gone on over many decades.